Hey everyone, welcome back to Nutrition Made Simple, a video series that we created that takes ideas surrounding natural health and we break them down into easy to understand and actionable steps that pretty much anyone can take. And for the month of March, we've actually been focusing on gut health. And today I am joined by Ed Jones. He's the founder and owner of Nutrition World. And we're gonna take a look at digestion. Now, digestion issues are pretty much something that everyone's experienced at one point or another. Um, but we do have quite a few supplements. Actually, we've got a whole section dedicated just to digestive enzymes and digestive support supplements. And so that's what we're gonna be looking at today. So to start us out, um, Ed, we've got a plethora of different options, um, even in that one section. I mean, there's a ton of different options. So can you just tell us the role of digestive enzymes and why someone would wanna take them? You know, when we're very young, we can probably eat about anything we want and we never have reflux, we never have upset stomachs, we probably absorb everything that we've just eaten, regardless of the quality of food. But most of us who uh, are less young than we used to be, as I am, uh, start seeing changes in the body. Sometimes around 30, 35 years old, start having that little bit of a, a funny feeling, sensations, bloating, gas, uh, irregularities and things. And what an enzyme does, which is something that we do tend to lose with time, if you think about going to uh, school, a teacher's role, one of them, is to take very big chunks of complex information and digest it down to very small pieces so you can absorb it. Well, the same with these enzymes in your food. Foods cannot serve us unless they're broken down into the individual molecules, the amino acids, the fatty acids, the vitamins, the minerals. What you see on your plate will do us no good if we can't break those down. So that's the purpose of these enzymes or our enzymes within our own body. And as we get older, we tend to lack them. I'm a huge fan of trying to replace what Father Time is taking away from mm -hmm. us in order to create optimal health. Right. So that's actually something I didn't know that as you age, your enzyme levels actually decrease. So that's good to know. Um, so beyond that, um, there are general digestive enzymes that kind of cover the gambit of everything that you would need, but then there are also diet specific ones as well. So right here, this is lipo gold. This is for fat digestion. So if you're on a keto diet, that's a high fat diet. Uh, sometimes there are some issues that happen with that. Um, and this can be really helpful. And then on down on the other end, we actually have something called glutenese. So if you're gluten intolerant, um, that's actually something that can help as well. So are there any others that you could think of that would be diet specific that would be helpful for people or should they be looking for something in particular? Well, first off, of course, these are not meant to be treating medical conditions. So if you have that, check with your doctor. But a multi-purpose enzyme is what most people probably would want to start with. I've always been a big fan of this particular brand called Absorbade. It's made from basic healthy foods and it's going to cover the protein, fats, and carbs. Okay. And the reason I like it is because if you choose the wrong enzyme, occasionally you can actually get worse mm. uh, because if you're if it's unbalanced or you don't need that particular one, but Absorbate never bothers anyone. It definitely helps uh, uh, gas. It definitely helps acid, helps you to absorb nutrients by up to 77% more absorption of nutrients mm. if you take this opposed to not because again it's it's uh, upregulating the level of which those big chunks of food are going to be uh, filtered down into the tiny molecules that we must have and so does everyone need an enzyme well maybe not but when you try it you will know your body will talk to you if you have the connection within your own system to really regulate that but i love absorbate mm -hmm. uh, i love this called herbal bitters it's an interesting concept. Herbal bitters, if you study uh, animals, which I'd love to do because we can learn from uh, the instincts of animals. We've lost so much instinct as far as eating and health because we just are who we are and we've lived in the world we have lived in. Animals haven't. Now, dogs and cats have because we've ruined them, but most wild animals, if they get sick, they will go to the forest, to the woods, and they will find plants that are bitter. Mm -hmm. 
those bitter plants help you to make enzymes. I actually am right now, I'm taking this uh, bitters before every meal because I want my own body to produce more of my own enzymes. I don't mind taking additional, but I like my body to do the job. So bitters before meals helps me to up, up the level of my enzymes. So there's a whole, again, like you said, Brian, a whole host of them. And the last one that I wanna, or maybe not the last, but the hydrochloric acid is one we don't mm -hmm. have sitting here. That one we have to be more cautious of because if you have an ulcer or something, it can be very irritating. But the other side of hydrochloric is if you don't have enough acid in your stomach, you will not be optimally healthy. We have to have acid to kill germs, pathogens, digest protein, and maintain the kind of acidity that so many nutrients have to have to be transported. We, you know, acids have been demonized in this country, partially because they're trying to sell something that is an antacid, mm -hmm. but it's necessary for us, terribly necessary. And if you have an interest in asking me about an at-home test that I can tell you about, I'm not going to do it here, uh, in three minutes, I can tell you how to find out if you're low in acid. Yeah. And obviously the danger is that is having too much as well. That's where a lot of the issues occur, but yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so the bitters are a really cool option. They are very bitter, just like the name says. Um, and you mentioned that you take these before each meal. Is that right? I. The theory is that if we take these before the meals, it's going to trigger our own gallbladder and our own systems to prime the pump okay. for it to do better. Okay. And now, is that true with all of these? Is this, is this something that should be taken before your meal or before you eat, or can you take it with it or after? I'm a big fan, if you really have a sensitive system, to do it midway through the meal okay. so that these things don't hit the side of the stomach and maybe cause some irritation. So about midway, if you wait too much past it, you're going to miss the wind of opportunity. All right. So yeah, digestive enzymes are a fantastic tool to have in your kit. Um, be sure to check them out next time you're in the store. And of course, if you have any other questions, please let us know. Uh, you can visit us in store. You can give us a phone call, reach out here on YouTube or uh, on social media. We're always happy to answer any questions that you have. We hope this is helpful. We'll see you next time, everyone. Take care, have a good day, and we'll see you on the next Nutrition Made Simple. Thank you, thank you.